Hi, this is Dave Barsel for Art of the Comic Book, and today we are going to learn to use a bow compass. It's a, it's a wonderful tool that makes perfect circles, or rather, it's a tool that lets you make perfect circles. See, if you just lie it there, it doesn't do anything. You have to make it work. So, uh, first it has a little pointy bit that goes in the middle, and this interchangeable end holds either a pencil or a nib. So to begin, I'm just gonna stick this in the middle somewhere. Sometimes for real art, I'll pre-size it loosely, like four, five, six inches, something like that. But for this demo, I'm just going to make a random couple, a pair of circles. So I have no idea what this measurement is, and if you're doing your work, um, actually, I could just pencil one out kind of loosely. Yeah, let's say your art is something like that. And you've got this picture, maybe a word balloon, something. All right. So, and if you keep it loose, that means you don't, that means you can change your mind about things, you can improvise. So let's pretend that I drew the artwork first and figuring out where I want the actual circle to be. So I kind of play around and it looks kind of okay here, looks kind of okay here. There's a big difference over here, but for the most part, it's okay. So I dig in deep and just draw my circle. This part's no risk because it's just pencil. And a lot more faint than I realized for this demo. So you're gonna have to go on trust. But there's a circle that you can barely see and I'm gonna expand it so it's a little bigger so I can make a concentric circle. And I'm really just making this up as I go along. There's no real measurement here. So there I have two concentric circles. Um, beautiful, right? So the next part is to swap out this pencil bit for an inky bit. Now this particular brand, this is a Utrecht bow compass that I bought in 1980 something. I think the other one, I think the newer ones work the same way where there's a screw that attaches things to things. You just wanna loosen that and pop, that comes right off. And then, you want to replace it with a corresponding nib that's made just for this compass. And so you just pop it in and tighten. And now you've got an inking bow compass. And you notice the tip is very much like the ruling pen. Well, it is a ruling pen, essentially. So, because I haven't used this in a while, I can't remember how thick these lines are. So I'm going for a thinness that I vaguely remember looking nice the last time I used this. All right. So, the next step is to go ahead and start inking. I'm gonna lower this bar a little more so that it's flat as possible. Um, and I'm gonna to have to tilt the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, I'll have to remember to push that, push that here. All right, so I've got my cloth, I've got my ink, and I've got my nib. Ouch, and I just stabbed myself. All right, so dip. Wipe. All right. And I can't remember if this is the outer or the inner. And you notice that when you um, ink, it's a slightly different position than the pencil, so you have to compensate. <clears throat> and then just ink. The beauty of this is because it is that there's absolutely no pressure. It's literally just sliding it. Oops. And if the and if the rulers you can if the paper is moving you can actually take advantage of that and move the paper. Ink. 
instead of the pen. And voila, you have a perfect circle. Now, I'm gonna to try to get this thin. I've been having a rough time tonight with thinness. So, the only thing I can do is try to make it thinner. All right, wipe, although that's a little stupid because I'm gonna wipe again. All right, dip. Maybe my ink is too thick. Actually, I'm gonna use the calligraphy ink instead. All right, wipe the sides. See if this makes any difference. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Oops, I move it back up here so that you can actually see it. All right, use the same hole, bring it in, make a guess. All right. Actually, I'm gonna take this down because I'm not used to it moving like that. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, this feels more natural to me. I don't know if it's any thinner, but the motion just seems easier for me to deal with. And I ran out of ink in the middle of the stroke, but that's the beautiful thing about this mechanical stuff is that if you put it in the exact same spot, it should make no difference. You're essentially eliminating human error. So let's see if that holds true. The very same hole. Yep, there's, oops, there's a wink. There you go. Absolutely no guesswork. And there you've got concentric circles. Um, yeah, I think that part of the demo is done. Thank you much. Have a good night.